Creating a form can be really simple. However, form validation can cause headaches and may result in stress. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Formic and Yup to make field validation easy in your React project. Let's get started. Yup is a JavaScript schema builder for value parsing and validation. So you define the schema, you transform a value to match the schema, and then you validate the shape. It has validation functions that you can use to define what should be accepted, such as a string. You can also add other criteria such as required and then pass in the error message that should be returned. You can state the minimum or maximum characters that you will accept and pass in the error message that will be returned if that criteria is not met. You can also validate that the value passed in matches an email format. Formic helps you to get values in and out of form states. It also handles form submissions as well as handle validation and error messages. It has reusable methods such as handle submit and touched. The touched method keeps track of which fields have been visited so that you only show errors on those fields. Formic has a prop for Yup called validation schema, and this allows you to transform Yup's validation errors into an object that has values and touched. And this allows us to handle errors and display them in a nice manner. We will get into that further on in the tutorial. The first thing we are going to do is to install Formic by saying npm install Formic minus minus save. And we're going to also install Yup by saying npm install Yup minus minus save. Once we have done that, we're going to create a component and we're going to import React, Formic, Form, and Field from Formic, as well as all as Yup from Yup. We're going to create our component subscribe and export default subscribe. In our subscribe component, we're going to create our Yup shape that we mentioned earlier. So Yup creates a schema that defines what it is you are looking for and the errors that should be returned if it does not match. So in our subscription schema, we're going to be looking for a full name and it should be of the type string. It is a required field and if the field is empty, we're going to pass back the error required. We're also going to give it a minimum of six characters and the error that we're going to pass back is going to say full name must contain at least six characters. In our subscription form, we'll also be accepting an email, so we're going to define that. It's also going to be a string, and we're going to have it be required, and we're going to have dot email. This is a special Yup method that checks if it is a valid email. If it is not, then we're going to return the error, enter a valid email, and same for required, email is required. We are first going to create a div with a header text sign up. And if we go to our site, we should see that header on the page. Let us now use our formic component that we imported to start creating our form. And we're going to set the initial values of full name and email, which are the form fields that we'll be using to an empty string. As stated earlier, formic has a prop for yup called validation schema. So we're going to let that be equal to the subscription schema that we had created before. And we're going to call the unsubmit function and we're going to pass in our values. For now, we are just console logging out those values. 
formic errors is populated via a custom validation function. By default, formic will validate after each keystroke or change event as well as prior to submission. Touched is used so that we only show the field's error message after the user has done typing in that field. We are going to use form from Formic, which is just a small wrapper around the HTML element form that automatically hooks into Formic's handle submit function. We are going to give it a label of full name, a field with full name, and we're also going to do the same for email. The field that we're using comes from Formic. This field automatically hooks up inputs to Formic. It uses the name attribute to match up with Formic state. And so field will default to an HTML input element. So ensure that the values that you are using matches to the name of the field that you have. Let us now handle any errors that we may get. So if we get an error, or if the user touches the field and clicks submit without entering anything, we will return to them the appropriate error messages. So we're going to have a div and we're just going to in that div print out the errors. And if we go to our website, we'll see that we have the error required being printed out because the full name field is required. We want to apply some style to the error message, so we're going to add a color of red. And if we go to our page, we'll see that required text is now red. And we can also see in the other validation working based on the number of characters that are entered by the user. We are going to duplicate that and add it to our email field so that we'll print out the error and give it a color of red. So based on the Yup validation, it is looking for a valid email. So if the email is not valid, then it will show the error that it isn't. We are then going to add our submit button that is just a regular button and we are going to check it out on our website when we click submit in our console we should be seeing printed out the text that it is getting back from the full name and email fields and if it is that there is an error it won't do anything when submit is clicked submit only passes the values if there are no errors. You can check out the Formic documentation at jaredpalmer.com as well as check out the NPM module for Yup to learn about the different calls you can make to its API. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you in the next one.